This is module one, lesson one. Today's objective was to understand equal groups of as multiplication. Number one, fill in the blanks to make true statements. Letter A, four groups of five. I see that there are stars grouped into groups of five. I can count by fives to help me find the total. Five, 10, 15, 20. Four groups of five equals 20. Another way of saying four groups of five is four fives. Four fives is also 20. Last, four times five. As we learned today, that also means four groups of five. All three of these equations equal 20. Try letter B on your own as it's very similar to letter A. Letter C, I see six plus six plus six. I can use the picture to help me with this. So I'll count, this is my first group of six. Then I have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna label that group as 12. Continuing to count on, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. My last group is 18, so six plus six plus six equals 18. Now I see I have blank groups of six. When they're talking about my groups, they want the groups of apples I have. Here's one group of apples, two groups of apples, three groups of apples. So I have three groups of six. Just like I added six plus six plus six, I can also find that three groups of six is the same, 18. Last, I have a multiplication problem. It's telling me my number of groups, which is three, but I'm missing the amount or the size of each group. I have three groups, and as we've counted, we know there are six apples in each group. So again, I have three times six, which is three groups of six, giving me again 18. Letter D. I see I have groups of scissors this time. When I look at the first problem, I see it's a repeated addition problem starting with the number three. Looking at my picture, I see I have three scissors in each group. So the number I'm going to repeat in my addition is the number three. So I'm gonna write in all the blanks for the addition problem, threes. I have to add three, plus another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Using the picture to help you count is a good choice. The next section tells me I have six groups of blank. As we just did before, we saw how many groups of scissors there are. There are six groups of scissors. I need to fill in how many scissors are in each group. In this case, there are three scissors in each group. So that problem would give me another total of 18. Last, I have my multiplication problem missing, similar to the last problem on letter C. Use what you did on letter C to help you finish letter D.